Hi, I'm Jason from Better Batteries, and I'm here today with Steve Phillips, our warehouse manager. And I just want to have a quick chat to Steve about his um, his caravan and his setup that he's currently running. So, Steve, you've got lead crystal batteries in your van. Can you tell us a bit about the van and how you've got it configured? Yeah, we run um, three CNFJ 100s, and we've got um, 450 watt solar panels, giving us 600 watts, and that gives me 40 amps on a good day um, and I've got the option of adding another 110 watts to bring that up to 48 if I need to. So so you can pretty much recover what you take out each day by solar uh, but I think we identified in, in a chat we've had recently that you're without without having a, a, a wall charger that you might not be getting enough charge current through those batteries and that in time they might go to sleep. So I know you've recently increased your solar regulator size to a 60 amp yep. MPPT. Yep. Um, what else are you, how are you, what I typically recommend for people with three batteries in a van and a small charger, a lot of vans I might just have a 60 amp or a 50 amp, is that you just run the van off two batteries, put a marine isolator on the third. You've got to remember that a lead crystal battery after two years of shelf life, it will still retain 80% of its charge. So by, by using just the two batteries, you're closer to your charge current requirement and you can latch in that third battery when you're, when you're off grid and camping. And then every now and then just give that third battery a good charge cycle and it'll, it'll stay fine. So I know you weren't keen on doing that. Can you explain why and what you're gonna do instead? Yeah, well, we've, we've gone to that setup just to um, for ease, but the way around it, I think, is to pull the 100s out and we'll put some EVFJ 80s in it yeah. and that way we can get away with a um, 60 amp charger and just leave them connected all the time just run them down charge them up run them down charge them up no mucking around just that's what we put it in for that's what we build it for so um, no need to isolate batteries and things like that that's a really good idea so what, what's what Steve's alluding to there is that our EVFJ range of batteries can can operate on a lower charge current. So an EVFJ operates at 20% of the C10 rated capacity, whereas the CNFJ needs 30%. So rather than needing a 90 amp for three 100s, by, by changing the part number effectively and, and using an EVFJ battery, Steve so can run the same three batteries and get away with the 60 amp charger. So between the 60 amp wall mounted charger or that he could run off a generator if he's had bad solar, or I know you don't get in caravan parks very often, uh, at least not by all the photos he sends me, they're never in a caravan park. But um, he visits some beautiful places in the world. But yeah, that, that, that combination worked really, really yep. well. So with that extra solar and that charge, that should be really, really well yep. set up. And Steve, how do, you, how do you know when your batteries are flat? Have you got a battery monitoring system or? Yeah, we run an Energive um, Elite monitoring system that's you know in the van so we can see what's going on all the time. And also the solar's got um, the display so it tells me what's coming in what's going out amp hours um, everything I need to know so I just keep tabs on that but just from experience and and the traveling I know that I can flog it hard in the morning and it's it's full by well and truly by lunchtime and if it's a ordinary day with cloud cover yeah. I've got the rest of the day to, to keep okay. it full so you boil your water in the morning we use 240 everything we use the kettle the toaster I use my hot water I run um, runs for about half an hour till it gets to the thermostat. So yeah, we just use 240 everything and just keep an eye on it. And obviously, if the power's getting low and it's cloudy, or whatever, well, you don't do certain things. But we cook on an induction cooktop. So um, yeah, just save the gas for the fridge. Um, haven't had any issues as yet. Yeah, nice. Well, if you uh, if you would like to learn some more, visit our website www.betterbatteries.com. Uh, and if you'd like to see some of Steve's pictures, I think it's Instagram at Cruising Our Country. So hashtag Cruising Our Country on Instagram and you can see all the photos that I get sent uh, while I'm working. But, uh, and Steve's been great having you help us out here in the warehouse and getting the warehouse in, in order. And we look forward to you getting back on the road soon and, um, and getting a few more photos for us. So, so thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you.